This question gives us a good opportunity to practice our ideal gas equations. Uh, so the first ideal gas equation, the one what we need to use here, is PV plus NRT. The other equation we could use uh, in different circumstances would be PV equals large NKT. The difference being here that one relies on the Boltzmann constant K, and the other relies on the um, molar gas constant R, which is what we've been given in this question. So we're going to use this equation and we're going to forget about this equation. So what do we know? Let's write down what we know. We know that P is what we're looking for. We know that V equals 0 0.02 meters cubed. We know R which has been given to us in the question as being 8.3 and we know T is 27 degrees plus 273 because we must convert it from Celsius to Kelvin so that's going to give us 300 Kelvin. N, we have to do a little bit of work to find this out, N is the number of moles of gas. Now we know that we have 88 grams of carbon dioxide so so the way to calculate this is to take the mass in grams and divide that by the molar masses uh, of the, the atoms within this molecule. So there are, in a carbon dioxide we have one carbon which has a molar mass of 12 plus two oxygens which have molar masses of 16. So that gives us two moles. Now it's a matter of plugging this into our rearranged equation so P equals N R T divided by V. So that's two times eight point three times three hundred divided by zero point zero two, which we can simplify to four nine eight zero. You'd have to do some long multiplication to get to that. Divided by two times 10 to the minus 2. The reason I've put that lower figure into uh, standard form there is just to make it a little bit more straightforward. At this point we can now say that this is 4980 over 2 times 10 to the positive 2 just because we've inverted that 10 to the minus 2. A little, little trick there which we can then simplify again to 24 Nine zero times 10 to the power of 2. Now since uh, all of our answers uh, up here, all of our possible answers are given to us in uh, kilopascals, we should uh, probably be working in, in 10 to the power of 3. So let's shift that decimal place along 1 to give us 249 times 10 to the power of 3 pascals or 249 kilopascals, which is answer D.